Greetings programs and users. Welcome to another one of my creative videos. In this video I print and paint an old school Tron light cycle. But not just any light cycle, Ram's light cycle, the red one. If you recall in the movie Tron there was a light cycle scene and our good guys Flynn, Tron, and Ram competed against the bad guys in the blue bikes. Now I liked Ram's bike because Ram had a red bike and to me that was really sporty. I mean it was evocative of Ferrari or Ducati, some kind of uh, Euro sport vehicle brand. So I gravitated towards painting the light cycle a red. Well to print anything you need a model so I took myself over to Thingiverse.com. Now this is MakerBot's repository of 3D models and I found a Tron light cycle model by the designer 660. For my purposes I'm going to use the model that's split in half because I won't have to use any supports and I won't have to get into any tricky printing settings so that the model prints relatively easily. I'm going to use an acrylic glue by Mr. Hobby to glue these two PLA halves of the bike together. Now in the slicer I'm going to give a good once over. I'm going to make sure that the surfaces are all smooth. I do notice that there are some artifacts or some strange geometry by the rear wheel axle. Um, it's not a problem. Like I said I'm going to paint this model so I'll be doing some post-processing after printing and filling in low spots and sanding down high spots so that should be no issue whatsoever. And right here I'm going to preview the layer by layer buildup of the model in the printer. Sometimes when I do this, I might remember that there's a setting that I should adjust. But this looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to the printer. Alright, so the first layer looks good, and that bodes well for the rest of the print. I'm really happy about that. Uh, all I have to do is let it cook, so to speak. Two and a half hours later. So the model looks like it's coming out good. There's only 10 minutes remaining. Um, the surface quality appears to be really smooth. However, for painting, I'm going to go ahead and use Tamaya Modeling Putty because it sticks well to PLA. And I'm going to smooth out initially the surface of the model. I'll go ahead and primer that so it's going to reveal more uh, imperfections. And at this point, I could move on to using uh, Bondo's Glazing Putty. Now this sticks really well to the primer, and uh, because it is an orange color, it'll contrast with the black. So I'll go ahead and start sanding, and this is going to be a process that repeats itself quite a bit during the course of this project, because I'm trying to surface and make sure the high spots are low and the low spots are high and average them out. Same with the back of the vehicle. I'm going to have to do several passes for the seam because there was some elephant footing that took place since the build plate's really hot in the beginning. Uh, what's good about this bike is the colors are solid. Now there's a solid red area, there's a solid gray area, and solid black areas. So really, really simple. Now the red areas are masked off. Okay, so now we've applied the warm gray. For the rear wheel, there's a little axle cap. I'm going to go ahead and paint that gray by hand. I spent quite a bit of time with a fine paintbrush fixing up edges. For this project I decided to use Rust-Oleum cans. 
I didn't want to bust out the airbrush for this particular project because it's a very simple color scheme that's here. There's no undershadowing or details like that. Alright, so the model is complete. I did a coat of matte clear coat and it's, it has a matte egg shell like finish to it and I really like that. I didn't want it too shiny. It, it would look, uh, I don't know, more toy like to me. And, and granted this is a small model of the light cycle, but uh, I wanted it to have a matte finish. Now with this model, it doesn't stand on its own. The bottom of the front wheel is somewhat flattened a little bit, and I think the designer meant for the model to stand up, but it doesn't do that. Uh, so I ended up putting a plastic eraser underneath it to hold it up. What I'll do eventually is I'll probably make a jet wall for it out of plexiglass. I think that would be really neat, and it would be great to hold up the bike. Well folks, that's it. That'll do it for me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought this video was interesting and you like how the model turned out, do me a solid and give me a like. And if you could, subscribe. I'd be happy to make more of these videos and share them with you. Thanks!